Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. In today's video, I will show you how to fly quick approaches using the Enibold A320neo and FSI Panel 2020 Standard Edition. You will see all the steps required to be airborne within a few seconds and to fly your approaches. Before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. All right, before we start here, I just loaded the A320 in Kennedy Airport runway 31 right and we will jump in the cockpit and see what has to be done. All right, let's go in the cockpit. Okay, here we are in our A320 cockpit, and as you can see, I haven't touched anything. We have the FCU with the default values. The MCDU are blank, nothing in the uh, flight plan. We have the wrong QNH, obviously the altimeter setting is still in hectopascal, and that's about it. So we just need to load the aircraft. There is a couple of steps required. First of all, make sure your engines are running. If engines are not running, you can use the AFB to go in a ready for takeoff state. Make sure your engines are stable and make sure your IRS are aligned. For the rest, you don't need to do anything. What you have to do, well, it's not a mandatory, but I highly suggest you to do it load your aircraft as you wish for your training so today for example let's say i load the aircraft with 150 passengers a little bit of cargo and i will take around five tons of fuel i'll apply the load and i will just click on instant so now i know exactly what is my gross weight for the training that we are going to do today so what i will show you is how to fly a vectors to runway 31 right, so we will be on a 30 degrees intercept for the ILS 31 right, and after that we are going to fly a very short final, four nautical miles final, and you will see that you're ready to fly the approach within a minute. All right, so we are ready. Let me start FSI panel and show you the steps required. All right, here we are in FSI panel. The first thing you want to make sure is that the correct aircraft has been detected. You can see here, Enibals A320neo version two. This is perfect. We should be sitting in Kennedy, that's correct, and runway 31 left. We said we want to practice on 31 right, so we just select 31 right. Before I jump into the approach, let me show you the setups, the options you have on this aircraft. So to change the options, go to setup, and then just go to fly and by or fly by wire, sorry, and any bolts. Those three aircraft are using the same setup. So the first thing you will have here by default is ticked is the program FMC, program MCDU. So if you have that enabled, FSI panel will set the approach in your MCDU, will set the weather, QNH, wind, and uh, the uh, temperature. And uh, so this is quite useful if you want to fly a quick approach. Then you have the default auto brake. In my case, I selected low. This is the default value as well. And your default landing flaps. In this case, it's flaps full. You don't need to change that if you want to do a flaps three landing once in a while. I will show you on the second on the second approach we'll do together, or you can simply select flaps three for one of your landing. The after landing flow is as well available for this aircraft, so FSI panel will act as a first officer to uh, do the after landing flow for you, and finally set manage speed on final. So that's good that FSI panel set the uh, manage speed, so it will push the knob button on the FCU and we'll activate the approach in the uh, MCDU. That's for the options, so let's go back into the main page. And as we said, we are going to try, let's say, a right-hand vectors for the ILS runway 31 right. So if you look now in the position summary, you can see vectors, ILS runway 31 right, we should be intercepting at eight nautical miles, and our altitude should be 2,300 feet. So we are ready to go. I will click move aircraft and we'll see what happens. All right, we are in the cockpit. You see the altimeter has been set, but it's still in hectopascal. Do not worry about that. Then if, like me, you have an hardware, trust master or other, FSI panel asks you to make sure you are doing, you have flaps lever to one. So I have done this, so this is all good. FSI panel will now set the initial part of the MCDU. And when it's ready, you will get the next message, which is please release parking brake. So I'm going to release the parking brake. And now we have the next information, the next instruction, which is set your thrust lever to climb the tent. Once you do that, the aircraft will go in the air. And as always with FSI panel, do not touch anything until you ask to do something and watch the show until you get the control. So let's do that together. I will set my thrust lever to climb 
and off we go. We are going in the air. You can see the FCU is set, autopilot is engaged, auto throttle is engaged. And now FSI panel is trimming the aircraft. You can see the gears going up and you can see that we are still descending. So FSI panel is about to trim the aircraft correctly as per the configuration. So that will take a few seconds until you see that everything is under control. Then we will see the rate of descent increasing here to 1500 feet per minute descent. Let's see that happening now. Right now, here we go, 1500 feet per minute. Then in the same time, FSI panel will set your MCDU and reduce the altitude right there. So you can see now the MCDU is set. We're gonna have the ILS inserted in the uh, box. We're gonna have the frequency that we need to set on the Inibold A320. So now the frequency is inserted. Now we are approaching here the altitude, which will be at 2,300 feet. So FSI panel is waiting for the aircraft to stabilize at 2,300 feet. Remember we said we would like manage mode. We have the wrong altimeter setting so far. So let's wait for that. When this is stabilized, then FSI panel will complete here the MCDU, activate the approach, putting the QNH. It will put the temperature. We're going to have the wind. And after that, if we look up, we can see that we are in manage and we have the correct altimeter setting. And the next message you see on your screen, aircraft is ready. Hold your brake for three seconds to take control. So if we look in the cockpit, everything is set. We have the correct lighting. We have the nav setting. We have the right approach in the MCDU. We have the managed speed. We have the auto brake low. We have the uh, PWS on. We have the weather radar on. We have the transponder on. Basically, we are ready to fly. So if you want to fly now the approach, you just need basically to hold your brake for three seconds to take control. And off you go. You can fly this approach. So I will hold my brake three seconds now. And the next message you will see aircraft ready and you have control. So I, you just have to arm approach, eventually engage autopilot two and off we go. So we programmed eight nautical miles vectors for the three one right. So you can see that we are going to intercept the localizer just before eight nautical miles. So probably we're going to be on the localizer at around nine nautical miles and the ID is to be on the glide slope at eight nautical miles. So Kennedy Airport should be right there. So we will just see how the aircraft works and intercept that. And then I will bring the aircraft on ground again and I will show you how to fly a short final using FSI panel. So you'll be on very short final ready for landing. And you will see that you can use as well flaps three if you want, if you want always to do your landings with flaps full and for, for, for once in a while you want to do a flaps three, I will show you how you can do that as well. So now you can see that we are coming within nine miles. So we wanted to be fully established by eight nautical miles. Localizer is captured. Perfect. So everything is working perfectly well. If I go flaps two now, as I'm in manage mode, the aircraft is reducing the speed. So you can basically fly your approach to Kennedy. So it took us around one minute and everything is set up. All right, so let me bring the aircraft back on ground in Kennedy and I'll show you a short final. All right, here we are, the sim is ready. I click ready to fly and we are sitting on the runway. As before, nothing is set in the FCU. We have the wrong altimeter setting. We don't have any flight plan into the MCDU. So I'll just set my training weight again. This is not mandatory, but it's nice to control by yourself whatever weight you want. So for that, use the uh, EFB set your weight as required and whenever you're ready apply the load and choose instant now your aircraft is loaded as you wish and from now you're ready to go into fsi panel and program a short approach so let's go for the short approach let me start fsi panel here we are as always make sure you have the right aircraft the right airport not select your runway so we said we want to go on three one right and we would like short final so short final is four nautical miles you can sit right down right here ILS runway 31 right four nautical miles the altitude should be 1000 feet now this is what I was talking before by default we are going for flaps full but if you press on that button you can select flaps three and that will apply only to that landing that we are doing now so we should be flaps three landing 
So there's a couple of extra steps on the Airbus, like the GPWS and the setting in the MCDU. So we will see what happens with FSI panel. So I click move aircraft and let's see what happens. Move aircraft, first thing, make sure your flap lever, if you have an hardware like me, is set to the correct flap setting. So flaps three, that's the case in my setup. FSI panel is setting now the initial part of your MCDU. And when this is done, FSI panel will ask you to release the parking brake. So let's release the parking brake. Next step, set your thrust lever to climb D10. So once we do that, the aircraft will go in the air and again, do not touch anything. So let's do it. Let's put the climb D10. And off we go, we should go in the air. You can see that we are a little bit high, but FSI panel will take care of everything. Autopilot, auto throttle is are engaged. Now we are trimming the aircraft. You can see FSI panel is trimming everything. We're expecting the aircraft to stabilize. Once the aircraft is properly trimmed, we can go ahead with the next command. This is fully automatic, do not touch anything. What you need to see now is the vertical speed increasing to 1500 feet per minute. Descent right now. At the same time, the MCDU will be programmed and then FSI panel will drop the altitude so we don't lose too much time. So you can see now your altitude going down and we can see the correct ILS inserted into the box. The correct frequency will be set as we need to do it on the enable so far as per my understanding. So this is done. And now we are waiting for the aircraft to stabilize at 1000 feet. So now you just have to wait again you will see the aircraft stabilize at 1,000 feet. 1, and once this is done, FSI panel will continue with the MCDU. So we are going to see that just now. Activating the approach phase, putting the altimeter setting, the temperature. Then we're going to have the wind. Finally, remember we go for a conf3. So conf3 has been selected. And if we look, look up there, we can see that the uh, GPWS landing flap 3 has been selected as well. We have the correct altimeter setting right now. And basically, everything is done. So now we are ready to fly the approach. So again, what I will do, hold the brake for three seconds to take control, and off we go. So I'm doing that right now. I have control. I will arm the approach. Second autopilot. Localizer captured, lock star, glide slope is alive, cabin is the only thing we are missing here to check the cabin and uh, we are ready and ready to land. Glide slope star, cabin check, and as you can see, flap config 3, GPWS flaps 3, and we have uh, landing checklist completed, we are on short final in Kennedy. So this is how you can fly quick approaches using FSI panel and the uh, Inibals A320 Neo. Takes a few seconds. What is very important is uh, that you let FSI panel work. Do not interfere until you get the message that you can take control by holding the brake. Once you are at this stage, you can go ahead and modify anything you want. Your, media, your auto brake, you can set your minima, you can do whatever you want. And then when you take control, then you are fully responsible of the flying. So here we go. We are going to land here in Kennedy. And for me, that's, in, that's all. So if you have any question or comment on the video, please uh, do not hesitate to write it down on the uh, description down below or in the forum. And as always, stay safe and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.